the sugar go on grits. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. I can't eat grits without sugar. The sugar go on grits. Absolutely. Now, my grandfather from Mississippi, my grandmother is from Arkansas. We put sugar on grits. The sugar go on grits. I don't eat grits. I don't know. My wife say butter. Cheese. Not me. Salt is not good for you. Sugar in moderation, even if you don't want to do sugar, little uh, honey, but it's sugar over salt. There it is. Oh, damn. I, I will smack your bowl. <laughs> the sugar go on grits. No, cheese goes on grits. I just had on the day. Sugar grits the other but day. I haven't had, I, I'm not really a grits girl. The sugar go on I put sugar on my grits. I mean, you know what? It depends on the time of day. But if it's brunch, I'm going with sugar and grits. Or after <sighs> after 11 a.m., you gotta go with cheese and shit. I, I yeah, I would probably say in my adulthood, it, it's cheese over sugar if I have to eat grits. But I can eat grits by themselves too. You're very freaky girl. <laughs> the Wayne's Brothers or the Jamie Foxx Show? Wayne's Brothers. Wayne's Brothers or the Jamie Foxx Show? Mm. Oh. Damn, that's hard. Oh my God. No. Uh, I'm uh, in Living Color, baby. Uh, it's, it's Wayne's Brothers. Uh, Wayne, they it, both in Living Color. Look, there would be no Jamie Foxx show if it was not The Waynes. The Waynes is not just the show, it's the family, and that was in Living Color. So they all go hand in hand. Jamie was employed on In Living Color, so it, I know the math from this. It would be The Waynes. I'm going to go with, hmm. Jamie Foxx was a lone act, so I want to kind of give it to him because he held the fucking show together. The Waynes, brother, it was two of them. And Pops was funny. Yeah, Right, no, and then like all the other people um, that was in there, like the security guard. Yeah, she was funny. I'm gonna say, just on holding it down alone, I'm gonna have to go with Jamie Foxx because I like to go with him. But damn, the way he's really is hilarious, and I love, I love Pops. Damn. That's amazing. I know. I'm telling you, that's not fair. This is not. See. The Jamie Foxx Show or the Williams Brothers? The Jamie Foxx Show. And the only reason why, because Sean ain't that funny. Marlon is. The Williams Brothers or the Jamie Foxx Show? With my age, man, I'm going to go with, um, dang, that was a tough one. What are you going with, sister? Roseanne. Girl, bye, because you know what? I'm going to go with the Jamie Foxx Show, man. Roseanne or Frazier? Oh, Roseanne. Yeah. Roseanne. Why? For one, you know, I'm into music. Jamie Foxx incorporated music into what he did with that show, the Jamie Foxx show. No one could play his music. Exactly. Um, his inter he still gave his interactions, you know, gave people something to laugh about, being a comedian in there. Um, yeah, that's that's some of the high points for me on the Jamie Y. Jamie Foxx show. 80s R&B versus 90s R&B. Now I get to cross my legs. Let's see. 80s R&B versus 90s R&B. 90s. 90s. I'm gonna go with it. 90s. Okay, why? Because that was too easy for you. Lee was born in the 80s, but raised in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. 80s. 80s. I'm going to say 80s. I was born in 81. I'm going to say 80s because you had New Edition. You had uh, Freddie Jackson. You had Sade. You had Needle Baker, The Whispers. All those things were not categorized as R&B until later on, but they were R&B. And they were still the greats. So the new version of that, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a delusion. I, I can't deny I 
you can never deny Keith Sweat. Oh, yeah. But shit, I won't deny Al Green. I'm going to go oh, way back minute, to a couple of them. Hmm? Right. They, those really? were the 80s? But Michael what, Jackson in his the 80s? Like, what, what, you know what? What era? What, but Michael Jackson is a pop star. He's not really R&B. 80s R&B versus 90s R&B. 80s R&B, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to teach you how to love. If you don't know how to love, your mama didn't teach you, your dad didn't teach you. Go to them 80s, that 80s music. It's gonna have you crying. It's gonna have you laugh. It's gonna have you smile. It's gonna be having you call your boo. Ready with to fall in love. Yes, okay. ready to fall in love all over again. You couldn't understand the 90s R&B if you wasn't exposed to the 80s. 80s R&B versus 90s R&B. 90s, bro. 90s versus 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Man, the 90s was a lot of. Uh, baby making first off <laughs> and that that right there tells you a lot about how in touch people was by music and the flow of music they, they reacted to it in a certain way you know developing new things new new kids baby making like I say uh, the yep yeah, was the population uh, people still listening to it heavy even the younger generation, like they, they even remaking some of these songs from the 90s, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stick with 90s, because 90s had a So, whole... think about Young New Edition. Teddy P. I fuck with Teddy Pendergrass, but do I really fuck with Teddy Pendergrass? I don't know what Teddy Pendergrass and his music <laughs> That's your homework assignment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of shit off the top of my head. Oh, I'm talking about how the fuck we hold on. Let's look him up. You can't look him up now. 